Hey everyone, Sean Chandler here. I'm in Los Angeles, California for the week, but I don't actually have a normal shooting location, so you're gonna get this quick review of El Camino for me. Go ahead and tell me what you thought down below in the comment section. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did it live up to seven years of hype or was it a little bit disappointing? I'd love to hear your take on that. As for me, I'll do this review a little bit different from normal uh, as it's a different type of movie as it's the continuation of a TV show. For me, if I were to just summarize it real quickly right up front, it felt like a movie that didn't embarrass the show, had great acting, kind of interesting, but didn't tell a story that needed to be told and it didn't progress things to a new point in time that I felt was a more satisfying conclusion. Uh, I'm assuming if you're watching this review, you've seen Breaking Bad and where it leaves off Jesse Pinkman with him in a vehicle, uh, this one doesn't really give him a new arc, give him a, a compelling different arc, show us further enough down the line for me to feel like I just, I just needed to hear that to feel satisfied. I felt like the conclusion to Breaking Bad was one of the great TV show finales of all time. And as soon as they announced that this was going to be a continuation that picked up right where the TV show ended, I was pretty nervous. And essentially I was nervous because I thought it would kind of turn out like this did, which was, you know, we just pushed things down a few more days, just moved a little bit further without necessarily um, adding this big, gigantic, compelling new piece into the mix. So that's a bit of my frustration with the film. It's actually something I talked about. I met up with one of my YouTube friends, Silver Screen Analysis, a couple days ago. And when we talked about it, the way he phrased it was, this would have been a really good Breaking Bad movie five years ago if it was a nice little epilogue that came out right after the series ended. And it's like, okay, that one kind of focuses on Walter White's conclusion. Here's the one that focuses on Jesse Pinkman's conclusion. Let's kind of do it real quick. I think it would have felt a little bit more satisfying to me because it was just like the show ends and they're like, hey, just so you know, we got an epilogue coming real soon. But when you wait six years, you have a six year gap and then it's like, oh yeah, it's, it's just what happened next. That feels pretty underwhelming. It doesn't feel six years worthy. And it, the other thing about it is that it felt like a, and this is a good thing, but also a bad thing. So it'd go in the mix section if I was doing my, this review normal, felt like just a two Jesse Pinkman centric episodes linked together. Uh, to show kind of what happened next. So it has the sorts of tensions. It doesn't have any sort of escalated um, spectacle or anything like that. But once again, if you call it a movie, like we're gonna do a Breaking Bad movie six years later, and then you watch it and you're like, oh yeah, it just kind of felt like a couple more episodes. Or I, actually, I think the review that I read on uh, Song Collider, the headline for it, it said, uh, Vince Gilligan does Breaking Bad, the lost episodes. And I was like, and I think that, that kind of phrases it pretty well the way it felt to me and not bad episodes. It wasn't an embarrassment. It wasn't like, I don't like this. I don't like these. But if you're going to do a movie six years later with this anticipation and then I come back to it and it's like, okay, that now I know a little bit more. All that said, um, you know, it's it's great to, to see more of the show. You take one of the great shows and you give me a little bit more, but of course I'm gonna enjoy it and have fun with it. Um, and especially because it's Jesse-centric, you kind of get Return of Skinny Pete and Badger inside of it. And some nice little moments, especially if you get Skinny Pete as kind of that friendship that was there and you see the brokenness that they like didn't know what happened to him and what was going on with him and they see him back and they're, they're willing to sacrifice for their friend especially as they're like man this guy's this is not good I'm gonna do whatever I need to do to, to help out my, my my brother and I thought some of that stuff was pretty pretty powerful inside of where they, they kind of went um, with the story with them and you, you see that in the trailer if you haven't seen the movie I don't want to go too much into spoilers with that but the, the trailer very much indicates that um and, you know, a lot of the different characters that you, you didn't like from the last little arc of Breaking Bad, you get a little bit more information about them from very Breaking Bad type scenarios and the way it plays out. But in general, um, it, it was something that I enjoyed enough, but, and it's like, it didn't feel like bad episodes. It also didn't feel like great episodes. Uh, it was just 
some more episodes that are Jesse centric taking place after the series ended. Um, but even like kind of the, when you only have part of what made Breaking Bad great is that they would do these kind of long extended uh, story arcs where things from a long time ago would kind of play into it and factor in and um, just the complexity and forethought put into things. That's a lot what have made it great. And that doesn't play out when you do a two hour movie because it's all just right here in this little bit. And so it even missed some of the things that I thought was like the most potent and powerful stuff about the show. And then to kind of reverse engineer it by doing flashbacks to be like, this is what happened before. So this is what's happening now. So those are my kind of quick thoughts on it. For me, uh, I would give it, I'd give it like a B minus, unfortunately. As a movie, if it was just kind of two episodes of Breaking Bad, I'd probably go with like a B or something like that, but um, not one that really wowed me. Not one that embarrassed the show all that much. I did rank the Breaking Bad seasons. You can see that right over there. Tell me what you thought. It seems like there's pretty divided. Some people have absolutely loved it. And a bunch of people are feeling like me, a little bit underwhelmed by it. Love to hear your take on it. Thank you so much for watching and keep talking movies and TV and TV movies too much. <laughs>